My name is Megan Wooden, and I'm a professional dancer, choreographer, teacher, and student. I have danced for MTV, Diana Ross, Marc Jacobs, and have appeared in many music videos. You can find more information about me and my career, as well as photos and videos, at www.dgtnyc.com. I'm going to be talking to you about ballet. Stretching in ballet is an important part to warming up and also to increase your flexibility. You want to trigger points of your body that you're going to be using in class. So starting off with your hamstrings, you can flex your feet and make sure that your heels are off the ground and you're going to grab onto your heels and you're going to just bend all the way down and hang there. And you should feel a nice um, pull in your back of your legs and you want to stay in every stretch that you do for about 30 seconds. If you stay any shorter than that, your muscles aren't able to relax and they won't fully stretch. You also should be warming up your hips. And this can be done by gently pressing on either side. And you can change the position of your legs from being far away to having your toes very closely, depending on what you need for your hips. And so you can do a flat back, which is your body is just bending over slightly, or you can round your back completely. You should also think about opening up your hips a little further by doing a straddle. And make sure that you're not rolling over onto your knee when you're doing this. Make sure that your feet are pointed and your legs are out to the side. And you can slowly just go all the way forward or stretch to the side, whatever you feel like you need. Another good idea to help stretch the outside of your legs is to do this stretch, which you can just hold on to your knee and you can turn your body to the side. And that's a great stretch to do. In addition, a lot of dancers have a lot of tension in their IT band, so a good way to stretch that is to bring your foot up and you want to slightly sickle your foot. And if you sit up nice and tall and if you rotate your body a little bit, you will feel a very painful pull in that muscle, but it is definitely okay and it should be worked on on a regular basis. It's important that you don't overstretch. If you overstretch, you might pull or tear some muscles, which can be very, very dangerous.